Hello everybody, Andrew Blake from the digitalaudiomanual.com. Today let's talk about clean and enhance in WaveLabcast. These clean and enhance options are a set of tools you're given to help optimize the sound of your podcast. If you're in the audio montage and you look over on the left, you'll see a section that says clean and you'll see one that says enhance. And in these sections, you have various options that you can activate by clicking on them or deactivate. And the first thing you want to keep in mind is that these sections can be closed and open. They're in tabs. So in case you don't see them, click on the tab to open them up. In order to use any of these clean and enhance options, the first thing you're going to want to do is select the track that you're going to work on. That typically goes to a lighter gray when you select it. Let's have a look first at the option that says EQ. If I play this little bit of audio in mono or stereo, and then I turn on the EQ option, I can change the settings for the low, the mid, or the high frequencies. I'm going to play the audio and adjust those, and you'll be able to hear. Listen now. You will find tools to navigate through the files, zoom in and out both horizontally and vertically, increase, reduce, and normalize the level of selected regions of whole files, apply various audio effects either on select. And by doing that, you can zero in on what makes your particular voice or audio sound the best. Something to keep in mind is you're also given a separate option for the low cut. It's a little button right here. Many times on voice recordings, there could be some kind of low end information that's not necessary. So typically, if you have a voice recording you're working with, turn the low cut on. Then next up, we'll be moved to this option that says the voice exciter. In some ways, this is like an EQ as well. The difference is this is a much more subtle effect. Basically, when you turn the first knob up, you're going to increase the amount of this effect. And as you turn the second knob up, you're going to hear a level of clarity. Let me play a little bit so you can hear it. Editor. The audio editor is used to edit an existing recording or audio file and save all changes permanently. A great way to add that extra little sparkle onto your voice. Then next up, we're given the option for a reverb. Again, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you want your podcast to have the sound of a dry vocal, it is also possible to, re you don't need to turn that on. On the other hand, if you want to show the effect of maybe being in a larger room or new audio files in mono or stereo, or maybe you're going for a special effect where you want your speaker to sound like they're in an auditorium, you can change the size of your reverb. You will find tools to navigate through the files, zoom in and out both horizontally and vertically. So a range of options to color your sound. And then it's going to happen, guaranteed, those nasty siblings. You're going to have somebody talking with S's, and one way or another, they're going to be annoying. As we move up into the clean area, now we have the option of the de -esser. If I take this little example, sometimes something simply needs slightly more adjustment. And then I turn on the de -esser. Sometimes something simply needs slightly more adjustment. Automatically, it is better. Now your range of options that you're given here is how much of this reduction do you want to occur? And then you have a knob that says character. Basically when this is turned down, it's gonna grab a little bit more of the low end of the S's. On the other hand, when it's turned up, you'll hear mostly just the very high S sound. And the great extra option that we have here, and it's the same with some of these other things we're gonna look at, you actually have a listen button that allows you to hear only the adjustment on the effect itself. I'm going to turn this up a little bit so it's more obvious for all of us to hear. And I'm going to turn both of these knobs down for a second. Now here it is with just the listen button. At this point, we can't hear anything. As I start adding the reduction in... Slightly more adjustment. Sometimes something simply needs slightly more adjustment. We'll hear more and more of the effect because it's cutting that out. Now as I turn the character from the zero mark up to 100%, you'll hear that effect become less with the low end and more of the high end S. Sometimes something... Keep in mind, you can hold control and click on any of these knobs to readjust them to default. And with an effect like DSing, a little can go a long way. With just a little adjustment, you can achieve the result you're looking for. And then we have an option that says Denoise. This option is designed for situations where maybe you have an air conditioner in the background, maybe something that sounds like this. And by turning up the reduction, it dampens off that high-end sound. So when your speech is occurring, it has the benefit of trying to reduce that sound in comparison. The level of selected regions of whole files. Apply various audio effects, either on selected areas, which allows the speech to come through more clearly. 
the other option we have here, the D Hummer. This is an option when you have your microphone or some other electrical component causing some low end interference, possibly this kind of a sound. When you turn on this D Hummer, and then you choose either the option for 50 hertz or 60 hertz, and then add some reduction to it. Again, you can dial down that interference in comparison to your speech. Record new audio files in mono or stereo in this workspace. Now, in reality, these examples that I've created here are extreme. And you always want to consider that if you're in a situation where background noise turns out to be even louder than your original host speaker, your best option is always to consider just re-recording that audio. But when you're in subtler situations where that background noise is somewhat manageable, these tools may be just what you need. And that leaves us one last option. If we move back down into the enhance area and then to the bottom, we have an option that says maximizer. The maximizer allows you to raise up the overall volume of your track, but at the same time, it's adding compression and limiting. And ultimately what you're gonna get is a more overall balanced vocal track. In a second, I'm gonna turn on the vocal sample and then I'm gonna activate the maximizer and turn up the optimize knob and you will hear the difference. Here we go. Existing recording or audio file and save all changes permanently. It is also possible to record new audio files in mono or stereo in this workspace. And just like that, you can maximize the sound of your audio. And that's gonna wrap it up for today. As always, be sure to subscribe to the WaveLab channel, keep you up on all the latest news, tips, and information. And in future videos, we will continue to explore the other features in WaveLabCast. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.